What's going on guys? Thanks for everything you guys did for me. You guys killed it on the video yesterday. I got over 40, 40 views, I think. It was like 40, 41 views. So we're just going to say oh, over 40 views. I want to thank you guys for that. Like for real, I haven't uploaded in months, and you guys straight killed it. So that that was that was legit. That was legit a reason for me to just jump back into it and try to upload as much as I can with my busy schedule. But anyway, today I got you guys a Call of Duty video, Black Ops Three, as you can tell. But today we're gonna be talking about some more of a decent topic, I guess. We're gonna talk about my childhood and just the stupid, idiotic things. I, I've done, not by myself, but me and my friends and I, we, we, we've we done some straight stupid crap, son, straight stupid, like some people will like literally argue like, <laughs> it, it's just, it's just completely stupid, like, one thing, for example, it was a park not too far from where we live, we used to always, we, we didn't always go, like every now and then we would go to this park because they, they just had a couple things that our park didn't have. Like, what's, the, I'm not even sure what, like, what the things were, well, not were called, are called, I don't know what they're called, but they had it and we didn't, so we obviously went to that park just to play on those things. And, like, that park, it was enclosed by a fence, a chain link fence, and they had two garbage cans right on the outside as you, as, as you, as you leave the park. So, m my friends and I, being the dumb fucks we were, every t every chance we got, as we left the, as as we left that park, we set the garbage cans on fire. I have no no reason to why we ever would do some some something so stupid. Oh, what the crap was that? Yeah, I have no reason of why we ever did such dumb things like that, but it's, I don't know, it was just the thrill of it, I guess. Like, every every chance we got, we set those two garbage cans on fire and just broke it and just ran straight home or back to our park and, like, just laughed about it. Like, it, it was so stupid. Like, as I think about it now, it's so stupid, but it's still kind of funny. Like, other things we used to do, we had this this major, uh, major street. It was called Garfield. There we go. Get the kill. Yeah, but we had this major street called Garfield. I live in Chicago. If you, if you didn't know, I live in Chicago, as I'm trying to say. But, yeah, we had this major street called Garfield, 55th for some. But the, the real name of it is Garfield. But, anyway. Nice. What's that? The Barecci? That shit's so OP. But, anyway. It was, like, on Garfield, you had these, uh, these apartment buildings. And then they had gangways. And... On the gangways, like it was like an underpass, a under passage to go behind the house. So that was like a good escape route. So my friends and I, being the dumb fucks, the dumb fucks that we are, again, we decide to to just wait on 55th and just wait for the perfect moment and just sling these massive ass rocks at cars. That they, they got to be going like 25, 30 miles per hour. So as 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 that now mind you, it's a busy street, so it's it's like twenty cars at a time passing. So as the cars coming past, like we just slinging rocks at windows, like just slinging them. Sometimes people will just hurry up, pull over, and just try to chase us. And some people just ignore the shit. But it was the thrill of the chase, I guess. Like I remember one time, it was me. It was me. My younger cousin and my and my not my younger brother, but my I guess he is my younger brother, but he's like right under me. He's not my the youngest anymore, but yeah, my little brother. I think it was him. So we're all on 55th throwing rocks at cars. Oh come on, we all on 55th throwing rocks at cars. So I guess my little cousin, he actually like cream cream the windshield, bro. <laughs> Creamed the windshield. And he was way smaller than everybody, but I, I can't remember if he got caught or what, but I know the guy, the guy came, like, it wasn't right then and there, but the guy came and actually caught him. It was fucking creepy, like, the, he didn't get in trouble or anything, like, he didn't talk to his parents or anything, but the guy just, like, 
want to legit beat his young ass, like, but he couldn't because he was so young and the guy was like a grown man at the time. It was so fucking funny. Other things we used to do, we had this on 55th again on Halter before they, uh, Oh, I don't have any grenades or anything. Before they uh build these little shopping centers, we used to have a big lot. And when it rained, it would get flooded. And as it flood, it'd be just like this massive puddle of water. We'd just like find empty beer bottles or any glass bottles we could find, throw it in a puddle, and just grab big giant boulders and try to break the glass. Like, we used to do some legit dumb shit. So, another thing, the, this is one reason why I really hate going to church. Like, I never go to church. But I remember this one time. I had to be every bit of 14, 15. So, it was this girl who stayed, stayed maybe three houses down from me. And she was my quote-unquote girlfriend at the time. And they had just built... A church right on the corner of uh, of the block we both lived on. So we we go to the church. We're sitting next to each other. Mind you, as I'm in church, I have a I have a home uh one of them one of the individual wrapped popcorn bags you can get from the store. So mind you, I'm in church eating this popcorn, and at the same time I'm sitting next to her. So I'm already being a fucking legit dumbass by eating a bag of popcorn at church, and Mind you, I'm sitting next to my girlfriend, so at the time, my quote-unquote girlfriend at 14. I'm, like, touching on her boobs and her flat chest. I don't I don't know why she, why she would ever let me do that at that young age. But, like, I'm legit trying to caress her little, her little tail feather in church. Like, how do you not go to hell from that? Like, that is some seriously fucked up shit, bro. That shit's so dumb. I used to be a fucked up kid. But I had some great times. Some very great times. Not today, asshole. Yeah, so if you if you guys... Oh, crap. There, there we go. We got him. If you guys would like to hear more about things I've done, things I've witnessed, anything of that matter, just let me know. Now, we can definitely get a video made on that. I have, a, I have a shit ton of stories, like, there's times where I witnessed, we can't really talk about stuff like that, but, I got mad, I got mad topics we could talk about, it's just, getting you guys to hear the, hear the conversation, come here you little butt much. yeah, just from off those stories alone, you could tell I had a pretty crazy childhood, like, very crazy. And for some odd reason, like, the very, f was it, the, no, this, this wasn't even the f first fight I had. The first fight, the second fight, the second fight I ever had was with the same guy as my first fight. So, I had to been every bit of eight years old for my second fight ever. But anyway, at this time of age, of eight, I was, a, uh, I was, I had the assumption as if you get sand in your hair, your hair will fall off. And that's basically why we fought because he was throwing hair in my, I mean, sand in my hair. And like, we literally had a fight over that because I thought I was gonna lose all my hair, which was completely fucking stupid. But that is, that's gonna be a topic in its own because it was a pretty hilarious fight. But that's probably gonna be it for this video, guys. Thanks for, thanks for everything you did for that first upload. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. Ah, oh. nah, this game not even over. What am I talking about? We're just gonna keep breaking to it. I think it goes up to what, ninety nine or a hundred? Ah, uh, that fire wasn't nowhere near me, bro. So I guess I can go back into the topic of the the fight, right? So I'm playing in a sandbox with my brother, the same brother I used to throw rocks at cars with, mind you. So the kid, he just, he just, for some reason, he just thought he was tough. 
Maybe because I had lighter skin that, than everybody in the neighborhood at the time. But the kid just always thought he was tough and tried to bully me or whatever. And it didn't work in his favor most of the time because I, I legit probably beat him up twice. Like, I even stumped him. I didn't want to, but the older guys who was around at the time, they just kept hyping me up. And I was just so in the moment, I just had to put the feet on him one time. Nice. I had to put the feet on him one. I had to. It, it wasn't any blood drawn or anything. It was like a little petty kid fight, but I definitely took that W. I definitely took that W. Both times. But in the first time, it was just so corny. I won't even get into that. Ah, come on, son. Yeah, but once again, thank you guys. Thank you guys for the for the love you showed on the first video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's still kind of iffy on how I deliver the conversation to you guys, but I promise you, I'm going to get better with this practice. I'm going to do with this practice. I'm going to do. I'm going to get better. I guarantee you. But as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys like the video. Leave a like and subscribe. See you guys later.